everyone, this is Natasha from Makeup and SFC. Welcome back to my channel. So today we did this makeup look right here because I decided that I wanted to share with you the new Melt Cosmetics stack. This is called the Haze Stack. And today I'm going to go over swatches, an eye tutorial, and just my overall thoughts on this quad because there are four eyeshadows here. Now, Melt Cosmetics is known for their eyeshadow stacks. I have just been lucky enough to get all of them. Finally, I completed my collection. Just this last weekend, I decided to go to the Hotbox Collection launch event with my friend Maddie. We were both in SoCal at the same time. It happened to be very serendipitous that this event happened while we were in SoCal. So I decided to go over to LA to see this event. And it was so much fun because unlike other makeup events where I have seen a separation of creators and attendees, this we were all mingling together. I got to see Laura and Dana and other really cool makeup bloggers that I have looked up to for a very long time. Got to mingle with them and just hang out. And it was such a fun event. Everything was so beautifully decorated. It was a fun time. So now, if you're interested in the Haystack, this is the only product that I had gotten from the launch. The eyeliners and the lipsticks I did skip on just because I felt like I had a lot of them in my collection. Everything was cleverly themed like smoking weed and taking part in the ganja, so it was a lot of fun for us. The decorations were amazing, all the layout, and it was just a good time. Everybody looked fabulous. We all dressed to impress so that we could match the theme, which was all the colors in this um, eyeshadow quad. So if you're interested in my thoughts on this stack in particular, then please keep on watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And I will insert some clips of the fun times at the party. me want to move to SoCal so that I can go to these events more often but yes so if you're interested in this stack let's get started so these are the four eyeshadows that you get in this stack now as you can see they are all shimmery there is not one matte shade in this stack if you want a little bit more dimension then I would use it in conjunction with another stack or just matte eyeshadows that you may have in this particular look I use the dark matter stack which has these four eyeshadows I thought they went really well with this stack and it just brought out the reddish tones and the dark darkness that I wanted to get across for this look so here are some clips of the eyeshadow look so as you can see the eyeshadows blended really nicely even though I had powder here in anticipation of some fallout I didn't get as much drop down as I did from the gunmetal stack. So the gunmetal stack is a completely different formula because I think that it is more chunky than um, the haze stack. So this stack where it was just pressed glitters, this one had more eyeshadow fallout than the creaminess and the pressed pigment version of the haze stack. If you were disappointed that this one was a little chunky, the haystack won't be like that because I think it's much softer 
and easier to work with it just glides on however i will say that because it's softer it's even more fragile like melt cosmetics has a reputation for being super fragile like i would never travel with these unless i knew that they were going to be by my side wherever i was going even now like sitting still i drop these eyeshadows and mess them up all the time so keep that in mind when you are looking into these but these eyeshadows are huge pans so when you are looking at the value for money you will get a bang for your buck because the pans are 0.08 ounces each which is typically larger than the the standard eyeshadow so do i think that you should get this yes if you are someone who likes to play around with bright colors and different textures then i think that this is the eyeshadow stack for you if you're a collector of Melt Cosmetics and I think you should definitely get this. I bought all of these stacks with my own money so I'm not getting sponsored for saying that I like this stack. Looking forward if there's ever a sale then maybe I will look into the eyeliners and the lipsticks but I think my collection is pretty good without them. The only one that I think I would get is the mustard yellow eyeliner. I'll put the name right here but yeah so if you like this makeup look and you liked my video review it was really quick and easy then don't forget to like and subscribe down below and don't forget to click that little bell next to my name so that you can see a notification whenever i post a new video and i will see you in my next one thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you next time bye